Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate lasagna. It's a great layered dessert to serve at large parties. As many of you already know, I don't do packaged puddings and mixes. I make my own, so let's start by making the chocolate pudding. In a large saucepan, you want to combine two thirds of a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of cornstarch and a pinch of salt. You want to whisk it together and then slowly add two and a quarter cups of cold milk. You just want to mix it until smooth and then cook it on a medium heat until it boils and then cook it for around one to two minutes until it thickens. This is my easy go-to recipe for pudding. It takes only moments to come together and is so much better than box mixes. You will never go back to box pudding ever again. When the pudding is ready, it should be thick enough to coat the back of a spoon like this. Once it's done, you just want to turn off the stove and set this aside. Add two tablespoons of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla essence and just whisk it through. This makes around three cups of pudding, which is perfect for this recipe. Now you just want to pour this pudding into a bowl and try your best not to eat it right away. Top the pudding with a layer of cling film, making sure you place it directly over the surface of the pudding. We do this so that a skin doesn't form on the pudding, causing lumps once you mix it through later on. Chill this for around one hour and let's get on with the base. For the base, you want to crush 36 Oreos, original and not double stuffed. Add six tablespoons of melted butter and then mix it through. The consistency of the crumbs will be something like wet sand. You just want to press this into a nine by 13 inch Pyrex dish and then chill it for around 10 minutes or until the next layer is ready. If you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please take the time to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to show your love. For the cheesecake layer, you need 225 grams of room temperature cream cheese. This makes beating the mixture so much easier. You just want to beat it until it's smooth. Now you wanna add quarter cup of sugar and then mix it with a spatula until smooth. I mixed it through with a spatula initially and then beat it for a minute so that everything was well combined. Now you just want to fold in 200 milliliters of whipped cream. Be careful not to beat it in and just carefully fold it in otherwise you'll end up with cheesecake soup and that's not what we want. <laughs> Spread the cheesecake layer over the top of the cookie base and level it off with an offset spatula. Chill the mixture for around 10 minutes and then we can move on to our pudding. Now the pudding is completely chilled. You just want to mix it through with a whisk and then pour it over the cheesecake layer. Chill this layer for around 10 minutes and then we can top it off with 200 milliliters of whipped cream and then level that off too. Chill the dessert for around two hours or until ready to serve. Then top with chocolate shavings just before serving. This dessert serves 24 people. It's great for large parties and it's my go-to dessert. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Much love and have a good one. Bye.